Hi guys, Whitney from WSS Equestrian. Welcome to today's video on how to put a false tail in your show horse. So today's video we've got Shrek with our beautiful Hunter Braid to demonstrate today's video. Just want to make a side note, Shrek isn't in his show horse condition at the moment, plus the fluffy winter coat and the sun bleached tail. I just want to highlight if you want to show successfully, you either have to have your horse under lights um, which he missed out on for a week, that's why he's fluffy, or you go clip your horse to have him in that nice short summer coat condition, dye their tail or have them stable 24 7 so they're never in the sun, um, or have a tail bag where I never have any luck with tail bags, just to explain that. So this is our equine image false tail that I've had for years, is Teddy's false tail, but for today's video Shrek's going to have it in his tail. So start off with, you make sure that you brush the false tail. It makes sure that it is the right color and the right size for your horse, as in lengthwise and thickness. So this is a double false tail. The singles are thinner, triples are much thicker. So this is just a double black false tail that I've had, that I have cut to size. For Teddy, I've cut it once, never cut it ever again. You, you only cut the horse's tail because their hair grows back. This does not. You've only got limited hairs on this. So always important not to keep cutting this. So you wash this, the you know, every time you use this after the show, you wash it so next time you go to use it, it's ready to go again, so you don't have to worry about washing it the night before. Always have these tails washed and clean, ready to use. Then, after this has been brushed, make sure that your horse's tail is all brushed, ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to pull the horse's hairs apart underneath. You want to get the hairs right. So there's his dock. This is the end of his dock just here. You want to get the hairs right under that. And separate it all. If you need to, give it a brush so it's easier to braid. So now we're going to make a plait right at the tip of his dock. So plait these hairs. And again, you want to make these plaits very firm and tight because when they're loose, they come undone and that, that's when you lose your tail in the ring. And no one wants to lose a false tail in the show ring, even though it has happened to us all. So I recommend plaiting this 10 centimeters up to you as the platter, whatever works for you and your horse. And then have at least three rubber bands on the end of, of your plait and make sure it's nice and tight. And then braid it. Like so. All right. Now that we have our false tail, I grab my loop and I kink it like this and I place it to give it a gauge as to where it needs to sit in my horse's tail. So I run it up and down the plait to see where it suits best. This horse, he has a bit of a long tail anyway, so it could do a little bit of a trim. So we'll go, we'll go in the middle towards the end. So this is my fancy hook that I use to pull through my horse's tail so you, you make sure the latch is back here poke that through the plait and then you hook the loop of your false tail on and close this latch so it's easy to pull through the braid then you poke that through and ta-da your false tail is now secured so that's one way of doing it the way I always put in my false tails is adding a second loop. So I push, takes, it's a bit tricky sometimes, but poke this plait back through, through the loop so it's even doubly secure into the horse's tail. So, and this bit will poke back into the tail opposed to poking out through the tail. You've got it more disguised this way. So now you brush over the tail and voila.
you can see he's got his false tail now he's given given him that extra oomph that thickness to his tail it's just the optical illusion that making him look neater and nicer for the show ring so that's him with his false tail in you can see distinctly down the bottom here where the natural tail is you've got that much left so that's him with his false tail and I'll grab my scissors now and I'll trim the ends you grab your tail like this trim those tail hairs And voila, he's done. He now has his false tail added in to give him that extra oomph. There you have it guys, that's his false tail being put into his tail to give him that nice show ring oomph of a false tail in his tail. So there you have it guys, hope that was easy. It's a, it's a technique that I like to use, pushing that, that loop back through, doing the two loop throughs. Uh, but yeah, that's that's how I put in my false tail guys. Hope that was helpful uh, Any questions leave them in the description box down below and I'll do my best to help you guys. Thanks for watching Good luck with all your show horse adventures. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye